Last episode, we took down one of the top Western Conference teams with Luka Doncic and the Sacramento Kings. And we're coming off a game against the Sixers, which we won, that I simmed 135 to 106. In this box score, you got three different Sixers putting up 24 more in this game, in this loss. Nothing from their bench, really. But the uh, Neptune's got 35 for Boyd, 31 for Kaminga, one of his best days all year long. In this game, you're seeing a pretty well-rounded shot selection with Boyd getting 18 shots, 17 for Kaminga, and 10 for Jovanovic. That is a pretty good balance. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Maybe a few more shots for Boyd per game in terms of that one box score, but a really good one here. We outscored them by a lot and outshot them by 20%. But after this game, in the standings, the Nuggets have the best record by far. They're 32-4. and four. We are one of their four losses, but they are by far the best team in terms of record. We're third behind them and the Pistons. So the Pistons still lead the Eastern Conference, just barely. We have the number one offense with over 127 points per game. Um, still trying to figure out the sliders for simming and get those up to um, that kind of a score, but... In general, the average score is around 114, 115. So on track with real life and points allowed per game, the Timberwolves have the worst defense with the Sixers top five. So that makes sense for us putting out 135 on them. The Nuggets and Pistons have the first and second best defenses while ours is uh, definitely not that high. We're more so a middle of the road defense at 21st, which is more like top 11, top 12. Our differential, though, is top three, top two, really, behind the Nuggets at 14.4. The Raptors right behind us. Field goal percentage, we lead that by a pretty good margin. The Raptors then in second. We also are the best three-point shooting team in terms of free throws. It, it's the Sixers, but we aren't very good at these, as we know, by watching. We're just a middle-of-the-road team in that category. In terms of rebounds, we are actually a top five team, so a moving boy to power forward has been a big boost to that category assists per game we are also top five there and you're seeing the nuggets up here a lot because they are a good team uh i might want to face them one more time before this year is up because it could be a finals preview i'm not sure there's another western conference team that's going to be able to really stop them in the playoffs if they're fully healthy and uh the same goes for us i think in the eastern conference we haven't really come across a team that we think it's going to give us many issues in a seven game series, but you know, who knows? We'll see in terms of points off of turnovers. We are middle of the road while the magic are the, the top team and second chance points were top 10. Thanks to a lot of offense rebounds from Jalen Duran mostly. And we are third in points in the paints and our bench unit is middle of the pack as well. So not a lot for the bench. We might want to consider putting Monk back on the bench and bringing Dort to the starters back for some defense and give some more offense to our bench, but we'll see what happens. Still trying to use the showcase games to, to, to uh, determine who should really be starting and who shouldn't, but in terms of rebounding, Moby still leads the league with Durant top five, John Morant still the top passer with Mac Boyd the top scorer as of right now. In terms of steals, Boyd is still top 10, so... He has really come a long way on defense, and Miles Turner is the top shot blocker, while Jalen Duran leads the entire league at 73, 74% shooting, way above the rest, while both Jovanovic and Cole Anthony lead the league in uh, three-point percentage, which I, I, I have lowered simming-wise, so this will be going down a little bit, but Chuck Hurley also top 10, and so is Cade Cunningham, who we're going to face today, but... We get Matthew Rhodes back today after several months out. He comes back a little bit earlier than we thought he would. And this is good timing because Liddell, despite him putting up decent, you know, box score numbers, his shooting splits are not very good. Way worse than last year. So this is good timing for us to bring Rhodes back in, who was shooting pretty well before he got hurt. So 18 minutes right back to Rhodes. He's back in as a power forward. And we sim about two and a half weeks. We didn't play our best basketball in the stretch, dropping a game against the Raptors in both games against Phoenix. But we do win the rest of the games. We lose against here in the first 
game against the Suns, lost by 16 against Azor Thompson, who ends up dropping 31 and 20 plus for three other players. I mean, they put up almost 140. The defense definitely is not as good as the Pistons or the Nuggets. And it's very evident here in these sim games that we just aren't a good defense or as good as we, we uh, were last year. Not really sure why, but we'll see. We uh, take down the Spurs, dropping 150 on them thanks to a monster second half. Got a big day for Jovanovic there. While we blew out the Bulls in another near 150 point game behind near 40 points for Boyd and 20 plus for Jovanovic and Kuminga. Really good days for all three. Uh, we also lose against the Raptors. And this game was because Grady Dick dropped 36 points. Uh, Lonzo dropped 23. And Scotty Barnes played and we lost. So I still want to see this Raptors team with a fully healthy roster. With Boyd now obviously being as good as he is. Because we still haven't seen them showcased wise with that. But look at the free throws. They took 33 more than we did. How is it? How, how can you win those games? I'm not sure you can. So that was a loss. Then another game where we almost score a 150 with 148 against the Pelicans. Another good day from this star trio of Yovi, Kuminga, and Boyd. With Liddell having a good day off the bench. That was before Rhodes came back. Then we lose against the Suns. This was the second game. And this was Rhodes' return to the lineup. He drops 14 points. 5 for 9 off the bench. So maybe he will increase the amount of... Uh, scoring that we get from the bench, you know, alongside Cole Anthony and other guys. But another good day for Griffin and Larson, and it leads to an L for the Neptunes. We bounce back by taking down Jamal Murray and the Magic on the road. 30-plus for Boyd, 20 here for Jovanovic and Anthony. But 10 for Rhodes off the bench on 2 for 3 shooting. And uh, we hold them to below 50%, so a good win. Then we win a one-point game against the Thunder, who aren't very good this year, but they got 26 for Bobby May, that really high-potential forward. We got 20-plus for Boyd and Jovanovic. Kaminga shot the ball well, but didn't take as many shots as normal. But another good day for Rhodes, and that leads us to now only a half game back from the Pistons. On a two-game win streak, 7-3 in our last 10. Still trying to get better at home. Still trying to figure out why we're not as good at home as last year, but maybe it's just a bit of a toss-up or a fluke there or, or a whatever, but all-star voting here. Mac Boyd is on track to probably be the Eastern Conference captain in the all-star game as he is barely above Kate Cunningham for most votes in the Eastern Conference, but he is over Tatum for the most front court votes. And uh, we're facing them today. John Morant's going to be the captain over in the Western Conference if Jokic does not pass him, but we're facing a red-hot box team. They are coming off a loss, but prior to that, had a seven-game win streak, so they're coming in at 26-18, and 18, and we have a chance to put ourselves in first place here in the Eastern Conference. But last year, we did not get a chance to see this team in the playoffs, so we don't really know what we can do against this team as they have... Now acquired Ivy from last year in exchange for Mikel Bridges. So he's now in Detroit. But we face them. But we're facing the Bucks our first time against this specific trio. Here we go. At home. Milwaukee starts with it. Cunningham's first shot rims out top of the key. We go the other way. Jovanovic walked out of bounds by Cunningham. He retained possession. Boyd's open for three. That one falls. That's the first shot of the day. The fall for either team. De'Ron Sharp with the and one on the other side. Free throw coming up. That's the first foul on either team. The free throw is good. We're all tied. Three apiece early on. Durian at the rim. No, but he got his own miss back and he flips it up and in. Nice second chance points. Little easy flip up there for Cunningham as he slips inside. Pick and roll, Boyd fouled on the other end by Bagley. He's got two free throws. First one up and in, and Boyd knocks down both. Quick start on the offensive end for Boyd as Cunningham, same story for him. Back to Boyd the other way, we got it. Nine to seven early on. Cunningham fires from the elbow and he continues his hot starts. Boyd from the wave, fouled on the shot, it won't go. But the second early foul by Bagley, he will check out after this free throw with those early fouls. 
Free throws are once again good by Boyd. Ivy down low, fading away. Can't get it to drop. Monk there on the stop. Durin at the rim over. Dayron Sharp got it. Cunningham in the paint again. That one might have been a foul there on Jovanovic. Not sure, but no call. We get it back. Cunningham misses. Stop from Gary Trent. Deep three for Tatum. Wow, that one goes despite the shot contest. One point game. After a reach in foul, we got an inbound pass to Kaminga, but he can't finish the three. Tatum goes right at Boyd at the rim. Can't get it to go. It's bobbled and we get the rebound. First five minutes gone here just about as Kaminga is wide open for the triple. We're still in front. On the other end, Ivy at the rim. Missed again. Slow start for him with a couple of close range shots not falling. Boyd gets the handoff from Monk and he scores again. No misses yet for 22. Cunningham. Finally misses a shot. Off the handoff, Boyd pulls the trigger and hits another one from the elbow. He's off to a phenomenal start as Tatum goes right back at him. He's got some free throws. The last time that we saw Milwaukee was, I think, early in the year last year. And in that game and all the previous games against this Milwaukee team, we always get called for a lot of fouls. Already called for four here in the first quarter as Tatum hits the top of the key three. We turn the ball over up ahead. That was a horrible pass. Milwaukee gets it back, trying to close the gap, but Duran pokes the pocket of Sharp, and we get it. Up by six. Jovanovic blocked again. Mike Cunningham is second here in the first quarter. Just under five to go. Screen from Tatum. Open shot. Cunningham again. Ian Boyd going back and forth. Jovanovic for three. That one doesn't fall. Now a chance to make it a one-score game as Cunningham blows right by Jovanovic into Tatum, who got behind Matthew Rhodes. Dortz hands off to Rhodes on the other end. Over Sharp, or Ivy rather, got to hit that one against the undersized defender. Ivy steps back and knocks it down, and we're all tied at 23. Tough shot for Jovanovic off the glass, and in it goes. High score to fair compared to what we're used to. Ivy attacks and hits the reverse despite Dort being draped all over him. We call a timeout, tied at 25. Under three to go, Anthony cuts and the assist goes to Josh Green. Nice pass right there. A time counting down for Milwaukee. They gotta find something. The shot is off from Cade Cunningham. We're gonna get it up ahead. Lou Dort brings it up to Boyd over Trent, yes. Little pick and pop here with Wilcox, but Trent just pulls the trigger instead and he knocks it down. Tough shot right there. Kick out to Rhodes. Gotta want that one next time. That one's gotta go if it's open. On the other end, Ivy cuts and can't finish at the rim. Matthew Rhodes there on the stop. Boy, still in the game, hitting this shot here as he's back in after a short stint on the bench. We lead by four as Trent blows by him. Off the dribble and lays it in. And then Boyd does the same exact thing on the other side. 33-29. Sharp fouled by Capella. That is the fourth on the Neptunes. They've been called for four. The free throws are... Well, they're split. One for two there for Sharp. Three-point game. Last play of the quarter, shots no good from Capella, and we have an early slim lead. 33 to 30 here at home, but a very fun first quarter. Wanna see some more? Second quarter begins. Jovanovic, ball in his hands, first shot is up and in off the screen. Great look there. Tatum quick shot on the other end. It goes despite Kaminga right there in his mouth. And then Duran draws a foul. So we got some more free throws. So it's going to be a shooting foul on PJ Washington who's now checked in. First one goes for the NBA's field goal percentage leader. Or maybe the second or third straight year. One for two at the charity stripe. Time counting down. There's another steal for Duran. Already is second here in the first half. Yovi brings it up. 
He attacks and draws the foul. The second on Cade. Couple of charity stripe shots. First one is up and in. And Jovanovic knocks down both. Great job. Those are always crucial. Step back jumper. No dice here for Cunningham. Goes the other way. We lob it for Durham. Well, that one's blocked by both Washington and Tatum. Both guys there on the stop. Cunningham on the other end. Hits the transition jumper. One possession game. Boyd gets by Wilcox at the rim. And Yovi with the assist. Finding number 22 at the rim. On the other end. It's blocked by Jalen Duran off the feed to Cunningham. Five point game. Augustine's wide open. Boyd with the assist. Nice court vision. Other way. Tatum. Open look. That one rattles out. Lucky break. Eight point game. Augustine with space. But Trent came over to jar it loose. On the other end, Boyd jumps the pass for a steal. I got a fast break. He pulls up, but that one was well contested. Now it's going to go the other way. Pull with it. The Tatum, top of the key. That one rattles out too. Couple of miscues for him early on. As Tatum has it swatted by Jesse Wilcox. Couple of stops in a row for the Bucks. Trent for three. That one is good. Back to five as we sail a pass out of bounds. Surprised there wasn't a blocking foul there as Tatum kind of hindered Boyd from getting to that one as another steal for Duran gives us the ball back. Yovi Street up off the road screen. Eight point game. Seven to play in the half. Cunningham from the elbow can get it to go. Jovanovic cuts inside, but Tatum comes over and blocks it on the help. Smart play there. Out to Ivy for three. That one falls. 46-41. We turn the ball over off the inbound pass after a timeout. And Ivy brings it up the other way. Boyd with him. He blocks it the other way. We get it. Great defensive play to prevent the bucket. Kuminga behind the arc. No. It was a decent look. Wilcox gets the handoff. At the rim. Can't get it to go. Durin with a nice stop. Lob for Jovanovic, but he's stripped as he goes up for the dunk. And now they lob it on the other end to Wilcox. So they've closed the gap down to three again. Yovi since cutting into the shadow row, but he can't finish the three. Oh, I want that one back so bad. Ivy to tie it up. It's good. 46 apiece. Under five to play. Boyd contested. Can't get it to go. Ivy on the other end, fade away, blocked again by Boyd. Another shot for Boyd on the other end, won't go this time. Well contested again by Cunningham. Ivy on the other end, finds Tatum on the cut, he lays it in and he got the foul too on Kuminga. The Bucks take the lead. The free throw is off though, rare miss from Tatum at the charity stripe. Let's take advantage. Boyd misses though at the rim. Nice defensive stop from Marvin Bagley. 21 points here in the half for Boyd as Ivy is picking up some steam here, drawing the foul on Anthony. First free throw good. Second free throw up and out. Got to take advantage of these missed free throws, but Kaminga lost the ball and then turns it over, throwing it right to Sharp. On the other end, Ivy gets down low, Anthony on him. Cunningham gets the feed, but steps out of bounds, and we take over down by three. On the other end, we lob it to Boyd with the reverse. Bit of a lag spike during the lob, but I gotta get a replay of this one. I got two different looks. Here's the slow-mo version. Just a really great pass. I mean, Bagley is kind of there, but it's just a perfect pass and an easy bucket. One point game, pass deflected right back to Ivy and it leads to free throws. How does that work? Capella just swatted that one right back to him. First three throw for Sharp is up and good. And he hits both. Six points at the first half for him. Nice feed there to Capella for the jam. To the one point game, plenty of time to go in this first half. Let's finish this one off strong. Ivy's three won't drop. Anthony for the triple. He can't knock it down either. Now Tatum rounds a screen over Dort. Can't get it to go, but Sharp grabs the offensive rebound. 
It's kept alive. Milwaukee keeps possession. Ivy's open. That one is off. That was a good shot, though. A really open one. Up to Anthony. That one's also out. Uh, they're going to bring it up. Ivy trying to push the tempo. That one's blocked again by Cole Anthony. Already the third time Ivy's been blocked here in the second quarter. Anthony's got it. Screen from Kaminga. Step back. Open shot. Finally got it from the top of the key. Kind of in this half. Strong. Time counting down. Ivy, another miss, but Sharp's there on the glass. And he finishes over Capella. Really, I've not seen the defense from Capella that we're used to. And we need that to be the case in the second half if we're going to win because... A close game like this, every bucket counts. Cunningham, a tough shot. And they're just keeping themselves right in this game, not letting us get out to any more than a two or three point lead here. Another miss at the rim for Ivy. Last shot of the first half. Dort for three. Can't get it to go, it just rolls out. It's 57-55 here in the first half. Electric game so far. Really fun. Hoping for more of the same here in the second. And by the way, Mac Boyd right now is in the lead for the dunk contest race. I might have already shown this one time before. But he's also, he and him and Jovanovic are also both in the three-point contest race. So we're going to be watching the entire All-Star break here soon. Start the second half with the ball. Kaminga, quick three, and he got it to go. Big shot to open the quarter. Five-point lead. Cunningham blows by Jovanovic and hits his first shot. Got to start slowing him down. Monk for three. That one's open and good. On the other end, tough fade away for Cunningham. Well contested by Jovanovic. It's not an easy look. Cunningham, though, gets it back off the steal from Boyd. And then goes to Sharp on the other end, laying it in with the reverse. Back to a four-point game. Boyd finds some open space and knocks it down. Quick start. And now Ivy felt the contact and draws the foul. That's a bad reach in there from Duran. It's going to be some free points for Jaden Ivy. Free throws are both up and in. So a five-point game. That one's almost turned over. Boyd can't hit the short one-legged fade. On the other end, Tatum finds Sharp on the roll. That was an easy bucket. Sharp's picking up some steam here, and so far, I don't think he's missed a single shot. That one was off from Monk, and that has got to go next time. Pick and roll. Sharp fouled now by Duran, his third. Got to look out for the free throw trouble now as the free throw goes for Sharp. Could he go two for two? No. Still lead by two. Novanovic. Two feet behind the line. He got it. That's why he's called the Slovenian Sniper. He leads the league in field goal percentage from downtown for a reason. As Jonathan Kaminga picks up a foul on the other end. Free throws for Tatum. First one's up and in. 16 points for him. Now he's got 17. Shot clock counting down. Got to get something off. Duran uses the physicality to score on Sharp. Need to see more of that from him. Tatum for three. That one's on the money. They just won't go away. But Monk responds on the other end. Really fun first five minutes here in the second half. Sharp shakes off Durin for the bucket. He still has not missed a field goal. Monk, same spot. Not this time. That was another open one. Tatum, out of a shot, finds Sharp. That's his first miss. Forced by Matthew Rhodes. Boyd, back to Monk. Great court vision, and Monk knocks it down again. A couple of big shots here in the third quarter. Ivy to Sharp. Fouled again. That's now the fourth on Duran. Sharp's been drawn free throws or drawn fouls. Cunningham's drawn fouls. Tatum's drawn fouls. Who is not going to draw fouls for this Milwaukee team? Boyd has to create an E. Eventually finds a flip layup, but had to really work for it. Tatum from the elbow, no good, it's tipped up and Sharp grabs another offensive rebound, but Tatum can't put it in, that's a big stop. But then we turn it over on the other end, that's a, just a bad lazy pass by Rhodes. 
Made it too late. Tatum can't convert, but another offensive board for Sharp. How many for this guy? This is insane. He's definitely on something here. Trent for three. Can't get it to go. It's still a seven-point contest. Jovanovic poked out and stolen by Trent. Another turnover. It's our eighth here in the game. Bagley pulls up and misses that one. We're still in front, but offense coming at a difficult clip here at the end of this third quarter. Now the free throws aren't dropping. Dern goes one for two. We lead 80 to 72, but I haven't scored a field goal in a couple of minutes now as Tatum gets back door. Short for three. That one's off. Bucks have a chance to close the gap again, and they do with Bagley off the feed from Jordan Poole. Green has a decent look, but it's no good. Gotta hit these shots, man. Another foul drawn by Gary Trent. The fifth on us now in the quarter. They're in the bonus for the rest of it. They've closed the gap down to two now. The offense slows down. The defense can't get stops. And now they have a chance to tie it up. Sharp between two defenders. Got it. He continues his monster day. He's got 18 points now. And I'm calling timeout as Milwaukee has tied the game. 80 points apiece. Not happy about this. Kaminga rounds the screen, won't shoot. Capella goes back to him at the rim. And we take the lead right back as Boyd and him are back in the contest, but that shot is good from Poole. They just won't go away. Top of the key for Boyd. That one's on the money. He's got 33 now. Big day for him. Bagley another stuff. It's not seeing any defense from Capella that we're used to in. Bagley and Sharp have had no issue scoring at the rim. Free throws for Anthony here are both up and in. Slim lead for the Neptunes. But now pulls wide open and the game's tied again at 87. He's had a wide open corner shot, man. From the wave, Boyd's got it. Under 40 seconds to play. Trent contested and out. Capella grabs the board. Last shot here in the quarter for us. Dort for three. Can't get it to go. They're going to have one last shot here. Trent from the elbow. Missed it. And it's 89-87 through three. Anybody's game. But we're at home. We got to pull this one out against one of our fiercest rivals. Fourth quarter begins. Milwaukee has the ball down by two. Sullivan's three rims out. We have possession. Let's increase our lead here. Boyd's got an open shot, but it just rims out top of the key. On the other end, pull. No good from behind the arc. And then we turn the ball over right to Wilcox. That was a horrible pass by Cole Anthony. Pool gets inside and hits the little short fadeaway. We're tied again. Monk left open. They keep doing it. That's a big mistake. Couple of big shots by him here in this second half. Bull's shot doesn't fall this time. It goes the other way. Behind the back to Boyd, who's fouled on the dunk attempt by Wilcox. First free throw is up and good. Second one's in there, too. Five point game. That one is good by Wilcox. Over the fingertips of Boyd. Tough one, and then we tried a lot, but it's stolen by Poole. Anthony just got stripped. Leiden on the other end missed that one. His first minute here in the game, and his only minute, really. Another miss three for Anthony, man. He's really missed a couple of these open ones in this game. And Wilcox has hit a couple here in the second half. And I'm calling timeout again, tied at 94. We only have one left with nine to go. Gotta keep tabs on that. Rhodes to answer back. It's good out of the timeouts. Need more from him off the bench, man. The bench loves it. The crowd loves it. Get these guys more involved. Poole steps back and misses his triple. On the other end. A fade away from Anthony is up and good. Tough shot. Four minutes gone here in the fourth. But Trent hits the three to close it back to two. They're hitting all the tough shots. 
Another three off the mark for Cole Anthony after we saw him being one of the league leaders alongside Jovanovic. High ball game now. Anthony lost it. Rough second half for him. Up to Ivy. And the Bucks take the lead once again. 109 to 99. Or 101 to 99, rather. Step back shot off from Anthony. Just not his day. And it might cost us. Bagley fouled by Capella. He's been called for four. Duran's been called for four. We haven't seen this in a while. And of course, it's only against Milwaukee when it happens. Go figure. The one team that I just hate to lose against. Rhodes contested. Can't get it to go. Six minutes to go. We really need to get some stops here. And if we don't, I'm going to call timeout. Ivy just pulls the trigger. That one is off. But with six to go, I am going to use our last timeout. A bit of a bullet move here. But we got to bring in Boyd. Got to bring in Kuminga. Bring in the starters to end out this game and end out these last six minutes of regulation. We have to. So we're going to bring them in. They'll come back out. First play. Boyd finds Jovanovic wide open for the triple. It's back to a one-point game. This one's stolen as they try to go to Ivy back door. All right. We turn the ball over. Horrible pass by Monk right to Sharp. Ivy on the other end. Fouled and he got the bucket. They just get whatever they want. Just what they need. They get. The free throw was good for Ivy. Back door for Boyd. He's fouled by Tatum. He's got some free throws. That's just, just Tatum's first free throw. This late in the game with... Mac Boyd being his main matchup all day long. How is that even possible? Ivy contested. Can't get it to go. Good defense out there on the perimeter. Durant on the other end. Misses at the rim. He grabs his own miss. We keep possession. Kaminga, tough shot. Well contested by Tatum. Not the best look. Cunningham attacks and hits it over Malik Monk on the other end. Did not do a whole lot there in the third quarter, but here in the fourth, he's back in, and we just turn it over again. You cannot be giving the ball up there. Tatum for three. Well contested by Kuminga. Good defense once again. Four-point game. Kuminga open for three. It's good. It's back to one. Need some stops here. Sharp stuffed by a boy. There's one. Huge play by 22. Now we can put ourselves in front. Back door. Boyd's got it with the jam. 109, 108, 22. Does it all himself. One of his first buckets here in the fourth. As Jovanovic strips Cunningham of it. He brings it up and draws the foul. We have a chance to go up by three. The first free throw is good. Jovi's got 19. Six for 11 from the field. Every shot, every free throw matters. And this one is off. That's so crucial. Two-point game. They go fast up ahead. Cunningham missed it, though. Malik Monk will get the credit for that stop. And we lob it, but off the double team. It sails right to Milwaukee. Horrible turnover. Ivy on the other end. Hits the shot, and we're all tied at 110. Under two to play. Jovanovic passed up the open look. Finds Kaminga for three. Wide open, but that one is off. He's going to want that one back. Mismatch with Durin, and he draws the foul. Cunningham's got free throws. These can put them in front. Just over 90 seconds left. Milwaukee once again takes the lead. They haven't had the lead for very much here in this game. But when they have, it's been tough to get back in. That's a horrible shot from Monk. Ill-advised. Cunningham on the other end hits the shot. And we have no timeout, so we can't bring in Lou Dort. We can't bring in any defenders. Duran gets the offensive rebound and keeps it alive. Kuminga, second chance. It's good. It's still a one-point game. It's not over. We need a stop. Under 50 seconds left. Cunningham attacks, fades away, and hits the close-range jumper again. Three-point contest. We need a clean look and a good one. But Kuminga just pulls up. Third cleans it up again. We're going to have one last shot. Boyd's got it. 
Double teams there. Monk now has it. Time on the clock. Counting down. We got to find something. Monk fires. It's no good. Tatum gets the board. We have to foul. Oh, man. That might be the game. I think it is. The free throw makes it four. He's got one more. We have no timeouts. Five point game. I think Milwaukee is going to come out of here with a win. Duranda Jovanovic for the three. Can't get it to go. The time's going to run out here in Atlanta Garena. Milwaukee steals one. You've got to be kidding. I mean, what a battle, but wow, we could have won that game just a couple plays away. That hurts. Forty one. 8-7 and seven for Boyd in the loss, but look at that fourth quarter. They outscored us 31-24. We just couldn't score, man. We just couldn't score. The offense ran into some issues down the stretch. We did not get the ball in the hands of Mac Boyd, and we were just a couple of plays away from taking them down. Just a couple. A couple of open shots, a couple of turnovers, a couple of Defensive rebounds away. It's hard to pinpoint where we lost this game, but there were a couple of things that we could have done just a little bit better that could have gotten us the win. 20 plus for all three star players, but to allow Dayron Sharp to put up 18 and 11 and go six for eight from the field and six for nine on free throws against two of your best defensive bigs, your only two defensive bigs with Dern and Kaminga or Capella, who are supposed to be your best defensive players besides Lou Dort, and they weren't. 14 TOs to their seven. Their bench was better. They scored 20 more points at the paint and 10 more on fast breaks. They were better in the key areas, and they got the win. We don't take first place as the Pistons will still hold on to first place by a half game. The Raptors move back within one game of us for the two seed. So out of this game, this brings up the talking points. You know, there were some big plays by Monk in this game, but should Dort come back in? Because I would imagine that his defense, that might have been a difference maker in this game, but Monk's threes were also a huge difference in that second half, although he did take a couple of bad shots there to end the game that might have been um, some big contributors to our loss. So should Dort come back in the starting five? Let me know in the comments down below. We'll consider it. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.